What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So a few weeks ago I did a what duck decoys I used video and I had some requests to do goose decoys. So that is what we are doing today. So I guess I'll just start out with my shells here. Starting with these, I have six of these. These are the Bigfoot sleeper shells and I really love these decoys. As you can see, the heads are flocked, the tails are flocked. They just are a good looking decoy. Uh, they're all one solid piece, so you don't have to worry about putting the heads in and out like other shells. And they have that texture and really good paint that Bigfoot has. Um, these are a little pricier, especially now. I got these like on sale. I think they were 90 bucks for six when I got them. So not terrible, but uh, they're a lot more now. But I'm really impressed with these and they really get the job done on those cold days, those windy, snowy days when you know the birds are going to be hunkering down. Or on ice. If you have anywhere, if you're hunting like a frozen pond or a river or something, these are lethal anywhere around ice. So I highly recommend these decoys. And then I have 12 of these. These are the other shells I have. And these are Higdens. Um, they come with active heads. I didn't get any out. But, you know, it's just a shell. You stick the head in, you twist it. There you go. Um, they're all they're all upright heads, though. They're nothing sleepers or resters or anything like that. Uh, they're a little cheaper. You know, I got 12 of these for 70 bucks or something. I had a waterfowl days and shields. Oh, shoot, these are probably five years, four years old. Five years. Five years old, I want to say. And the paints held up really well. They're really lightweight, so... When I go pack in somewhere and you know I need to take duck and goose decoys, so I'll take my duck floaters and I need to take some goose decoys just on the off chance. I like to take a half dozen of these and uh, yeah, I take these just because they're lightweight and they're really easy to pack in. They don't really take up a lot of space. So these are, these are really good decoys as well, uh, just a little cheaper. Um, I've got a crack in this one here, probably from putting the heads on in the cold or something. But, you know, it's four years, four or five years old. So what else do you expect? So I guess we'll go to the full bodies now. And I have two types of full bodies that I run. The first of which is the Avian X Lessers. And just like all other Avian X decoys, the detail on these are simply incredible. Um, I got these two or three years ago from a buddy. He had... He had a whole bunch of them, and he was moving to a place they don't have geese, so he had to sell all his goose decoys. I said I'd take a dozen, no, two dozen of these, and uh, I'm really happy. I mean, the detail on the head alone, it's flocked. They've got, like, creases like an actual goose, and these things look amazing. The only problem, and I'll get that here, the only problem with these is the stakes they come with don't work you know when you're trying to put them in frozen ground they only give you the like stakes you have to stick in the ground they don't give you ones like this so this is a ghg stake had a bunch of extra ones and we just knocked off the ends here so then you just just like a greenhead gear or any other field decoy i would expect and you can even jam it up in one of the sides there so they don't move on windy days but that's how we got around that otherwise we just would have to sit them on the ground and I mean, they still work like that, but just having a little bit of movement works a lot better. Um, that's pretty much my only gripe with those is the stakes they come with, which that's saying a lot if that's the only gripe. But the paint's held up really well. The flocking is held up exceptionally well. And I mean, part of that's how you treat them too. You know, I've got them in slotted decoy bags, but these decoys are amazing. Um, little pricey new. If I wanted to probably bought these new at a store but buying them used and from my buddy who took good care of them, I know uh, I was getting a pretty good deal on them. So that's one set of full bodies. And I've got two dozen of those. And then I have two dozen of these. And these are fully flocked green headgear lessers, I believe. And these actually did come with field stakes and uh, the other types of stakes as well. A uh, guy was downsizing his decoy spread or maybe just got new decoys or something. And he had these for a steal. You can see the head's kind of faded, the flocking's kind of coming off. And I only took these out probably five, six times last year. Last year is the first year I've had them. And, you know, they definitely didn't hurt anything. Uh, the flocking helps. But so far, so good with them. You know, I don't really have any complaints on them yet. I haven't noticed 
been flaring any birds. The paint's held up really well for as many times as I've had them out. I think this year will be more telling on these, but uh, you know, they look really good too. The, the fully flock part is what really got my eye and uh, hopefully get some more geese in with these as well. That's all I have for fully flocked and shells. I have two other types of decoys and here's one of them. These are green headgear goose floaters and as you can tell these are very old. These are uh, I want to say seven years old. I got these back in college and uh, hunted hunted with them quite a bit. You can see the paint starting to chip off on parts of it which is a seven year old decoy you know and I banged it around my back throughout college and it's held up. I mean, they've held up pretty well. I need to reflock, reflock them for sure. But they've been good decoys. Uh, the only problem you can see here, the kill sometimes will crack on the front end, where like you put the weight if you ha didn't have a Texas rig. You know, if you just have a conventional rig, this sometimes cracks when it's cold, and that's what happened here. Uh, but the rest of the, the kill, actually, that's kind of wearing into. But that's, I mean, that's seven years of use as well. So. For what I paid for these and how many times I've hunted with them, they've done exceptionally well. And they've killed a lot of geese too. And then the final ones, and I've got four of those, I've got the final ones, you guys have seen these if you watched my decoy unboxing video. These are the new Greenhead Gear floaters and these are pro grade. So there's not a ton of difference to these two. So I got four when I bought these, I got six when I bought these and they were the same price. The paint scheme's pretty similar. This one kind of seems to be a little more, have like a little bit more green in it almost, like an olive green compared to just brown. But the heads on these are a lot more lifelike. This comes with six different head styles, including a sleeper. These are all just really active style. But they're very similar decoys. Uh, we'll see how the paint holds up on these. The, the kill system. They don't even have a hole in the front end of the keel here, I'm just noticing. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how these hold up. If they're anywhere like these ones, they're going to do just as well. And uh, I'm going to run them all, all at the same time. You know, 10 geese is better than 4 geese. It's kind of what I'm thinking, especially on heavy migration days. Other times, I might just take a few of them out, the better looking ones. I don't know. Just kind of depends on what the scouting says. But that's all I have for goose decoys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Drop a comment. Let me know if your thoughts were, guys. What questions do you have about these decoys? Maybe I didn't explain something about each one enough or something. Or what, you know, maybe you have some comments. Which ones do you like the best? Let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest videos. We've got hunting season just a month away. Literally a month away when I'm filming this, guys. It is teal season here in Nebraska. So those will come out soon. Dove season three weeks away. We've got a couple more hunting boot camps coming at you. A lot of teal emphasis. And we're going to have some fishing videos too. If you guys like trout fishing, stay tuned because I'll have some trout fishing videos very soon for you guys. And then some cooking videos as well. So if any of that is up your alley, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit the little bell right next to it if you are already subscribed so you can, so you can never miss out on a new video. And we'll catch you out there guys. See ya.